Hi, welcome to Basics of SketchUp tutorial. Here you will hopefully learn about SketchUp modeling. First thing you need to know is how to move around SketchUp. So if you want to move around SketchUp, you use, you use your scroll button on your mouse. If you want to look around, you you click your scroll button and hold it and then move around. If you want to zoom in or zoom out, you simply scroll your scroll button. You will get used to it. Next thing we need to know is uh, how to draw a line. So if you want to draw a line, you simply click on your line command, click on the place you want to begin the line and where you want to end it. Uh, most mistakes people make is drawing a line in a different directions that they don't want to create. They end up not being parallel or not aligned one to each other. So if you want to create a parallel line to the red axle or green or blue axle, you simply look at the line's color and if it's showing red color, then it's going to be parallel to the red line. If it is showing green color, it's parallel to the green end. Now when we have explained that, I will go again and draw a new line parallel to the red line and it's going to be 500 centimeters. How do I know it's 500 centimeters? You simply type it in and it will be shown in the bottom right corner of your display. How can I check it? I simply select the line, then right click and click on Entity Info. Entity Info will show the line's length and you can also see the color of the line if there is any. You can turn on or off the shadows of the line or any entity basically any entity you, you you click on in SketchUp. So we will leave this window opened and it's quite useful. You can always hide your object. If you ever lose it you can go edit and then go unhide and you can go uh, unhide the last or you can unhide all. I'm gonna go with all. Now when we have our first line I'll go ahead and create a surface. Now remember to watch the green line uh, and actually the green color of your line that, that you're going to draw and then I'm gonna type 300 What I could have done what I could do actually is create our surface with a rectangle option uh, Actually command then I would type different dimensions uh, For more complicated shapes will we will we will have more tutorials and you should probably watch those too Let's say we want to build a little house or a little shed or something like that. So we have our our surface, our dimension surface. And what we are going to do is go with the offset command. Click on offset click on, on the plane uh, and move in or move out according to which direction you want to offset those lines. So I would go inside and go like 20 centimeters, okay, 20 centimeters. This way you can create walls and you can organize walls inside of your building, inside your floor plan or a section or whatever you can you can create other walls like this inside okay that's nice but we'll actually erase this for selecting multiple entities actually you can click your shift on your uh, keyboard and then click on entities you want to select this way you can add selection or remove your entity from the selection and this part I want to lose two, do two of those selections and delete this li these lines Next thing you would need to know is push and pull option. This is the most common and mostly used options for any model makers. So I click on push and pull, I select the lines, the walls, let's say, the walls of our building that I want to create and then again I add the distance I want to create. I'm gonna go with 250. That's nice. Okay. I will delete this place, this plane, and I will I will make a group out of this. Why is this important? I will show you later. 
so I'm gonna go right click and create a group make a group okay now you get it now it shows me the here in the entity info it shows me the cubic centimeters uh, in of this of this model now we have the walls but we don't have the ground or the or the roof of it so I'm gonna go and create a ground of it now I have created a surface with a rectangle command and I will go 30 30 centimeters 30 centimeters beneath of beneath of it and if you want to cop copy with it you just select it all you right click it create a group don't forget to create a group it's very important for you you go move you show the base point the end point of the group or basically this is your reference point you click you click on your uh, keyboard you click on your control button you grab it and you move it over here you don't you don't need to you know you don't, you don't need to hold your uh, mouse key you just click on it and when you're finished you click back and if you want to escape your if you want to cancel your your uh, your option you just uh, however if you want to cancel your command you press uh, space bar okay that's a few basics now I'm going to show you how to edit your group inside of your model next thing you would need to know is how to move an object pardon me we will move the object for you I'll select all of the, those three selections and move it up up for like 20 centimeters okay that's nice and I want to I want to you see it's now it's above ground one more thing I forgot to say is anything that you draw without the baseline is probably drawn on on the ground so it's above actually on the same level as the base point next thing I need to I need to show you is how to paint your model so if you want to paint this uh, if you want to paint this you can go like paint bucket click on your paint bucket select your color that you want to use I'm gonna go with dark green and click on the surface or group that I want to paint one more thing if you if you do this if you enter the entity enter the, the group that you have created and go with painting it won't paint the whole group it will just paint one plane and maybe maybe you want to do that I don't know I'm just gonna go and undo it and paint this paint this with let's say dark sea green it's called the color okay now uh, what else would you need to know is how to how to erase something of, of this I'm gonna go and draw a door on this I'm gonna go with 50 centimeters from this side I'm gonna go 220 up there and I'm gonna go 90 this way down there it goes this actually divided our surface into two entities two different entities which you can customize uh, with whatever you like to and then draw it to the end now we have our little entrance what else I want to do I'm gonna go cre create a window here let's say a, a fancy little a fancy huge window I'm gonna go 100 centimeters from here up to 20 400 I'm gonna go like 380 380 uh, 200 centimeters I'm gonna go like this okay so let's say this is our little fancy shed okay uh, I want to paint the interior walls at the other the other color. So I want them I want it to be like pale turquoise or whatever. Since I'm in model, I select those walls and I want to paint and then I go paint them. But 
I'm gonna create a group out of them. That's nice actually. One more thing that you need to know is how to rotate an object. I'm gonna create a group out of these and when I whenever I click on this it, they will be together. If I want to explode it I go explode and it they will be divided. Okay. Uh, but I don't want to explode them, I want them together. And if I want to move an object you I already show that I already showed that. I'll go like here and if I want to uh, rotate an object uh, from a different different part from here it will rotate about around the center of this circle but I want to rotate it on the middle on, on one of the points and I'll go I'll go like 45 degrees what happens if you if you put it here it will rotate around this plane okay I'll go back just to show you if you want to rotate rotate an object around the red axis axle on your object not the red axle uh, you have to go like this that, that's all and sa same applies to the green so that would be it for this video and thank you for watching and if you want to see more more of my videos subscribe to my channel i'll be posting soon thank you